to go. Broncos. Let's go. Broncos. Let's go. Broncos. Let's People go. People are gonna think we're actually big fans of like fucking no, Broncos. We like South Park. We hate sports, guys. We yeah, don't watch I don't sports. Like sports. Fuck y'all, sports. I hear you. Although I, uh, I do occasionally like, have gone to uh, ice hockey events, and I really like. It. Really? Yeah. Ice, ice hockey. hockey. Yeah. I've seen a couple Bears games. Uh, Penguins games. Jesus Christ, you're strong. Yeah, he's not going down. He's real... still. I look like he's still up. So in real life, if I fight somebody, I get in trouble. But no, he's he's dead. But in hockey, you just get time out for like five minutes. <laughs> hmm? Now I can combine blades. Oh yeah, it feels fucking good. Pick up some more green herbs. Just some green herbs. Green herbs. Phineas and Herb. Phineas and Herb. <laughs> Oh, we need a fucking MO disc. Oh okay. god, you don't say. Alright, that's fucking cool. Meanwhile, we just left fucking Wong to sleep in a room by ourselves. Oh, we can't. What are we gonna do? We yeah. can't carry her with us everywhere. Huh? It doesn't work that way. Uh. Will you file the laboratory map? that mean? You're taking the lab... Oh, just... Well, I take the lab... Apparently, yeah. They don't ask you, do you take the map? It's like, do you file the map? Oh, damn. They're like, we're done giving you increments. They won't even give me one. That's fucked up. Huh? You have so many of them. That's fucked up. I have so You have a lot of herbs in there, too. I have so much fucking stuff. It's incredible. I can't wait till after this episode so I can see you get frustrated with me. It's gonna happen. Get angry. I'm telling you, because it's, it's a frustrating ordeal. Let's go. Let's red, go. red, red herb. I see the herb. Whoa! Oh, eggs and spiders and larvae and shit. Larvae. Oh, I don't have the card key. Okay. Looks like we're playing a uh, alien game. Alien. They should stop making the movies. <laughs> huh? They should stop doing a lot of things, but, uh. Stop making Transformers movies. Yeah, they, they really should stop that. The only reason I want to see the new one is because of Anthony Hopkins, and. Anthony Hopkins? Yeah. What's he gonna do? I don't know. He's like a, like a, a know-it-all. He's like a sign, like a researcher type guy. Well, he definitely wasn't gonna be out in the field running from giant transformers. I'll tell no, you. No, some right little now. girls doing that, and she's like, "Yeah, I fight like a girl, don't you?" And it's just like you know, I just some tiny little girl running around Hunger Games style fighting transformers just seems kind of kind of silly. Not like a smart move. And of course, what's his name still in it? Pretty boy, whatever his name is. Mark Wahlberg. Yeah. You should get Shay LaBeouf back. <laughs> Shay LaBeouf is like not even anything anymore. I know. He had such a good career. He had such a mediocre career. Don't no, say he, good career. No, he had a good Don't career. say yeah, good career. Yeah, he did. He was no, really being no, coming an up and cover, no, dude. No, no, you think that. You I know that. No, yo, you just think that. I know let me that. tell you something. Okay, he he got his landmark Disney role kid, you know, that ruins all Disney kids, with that Even Stevens bullshit. He did Holes, which was good, but also another family-friendly Disney-type movie. After that, the only movie that had any sort of resemblance to, like, an actual serious role he did well in was Eagle Eye, which I can't even tell you the synopsis of that movie. And then, like, he got into Transformers and then fell apart. So, no. It's not a good career. Disturbia, Indiana Jones 4. Indiana Jones 4 was the worst was one. No. And, what do you uh, know? 
Dude, co- you can't ter- seriously tell me you like that, that movie. movie with Tom Hardy about fucking um, moonshine, whatever. I didn't <laughs> You're see just it. listing off movies that he's been yeah, in, they, not they good were, movies. They were all popular movies. The man had a great Popular because they were bad. He even apologized for his horrible oh, role in Indiana Jones. Did it. He did too. He's not the reason that movie wasn't good. It may not have been, but he claimed it was. That he is was, this giant moth. Look at the he fucking was one of look, the better things. Just in shoot that movie. the moth! What do you think I'm doing? <laughs> I was shooting him. That's how many hits he could take. Jesus Christ. What does that moth even do to you? Fuck. <laughs> now you're just shooting computers. I need to shoot these guys. Or I can't get to the computer. Oh, Jesus Christ. Really? Okay. Jesus fucking Christ. You liked Indiana Jones 4. I did. You liked the refrigerator it. scene? I, it didn't make sense. You liked the aliens? Of... Yeah, I didn't mind the aliens. Jesus fucking Christ. Mm -hmm. That's not an Indiana Jones movie. Scientology is a religion, too. So it fits with the whole religious theme. It was right. a terrible movie. Just because Sean Connery didn't come back to play his dad doesn't mean you have to be an asshole. Okay? You know what he's really an asshole about? What? Buffy. He absolutely. Well, I don't know if you do. We got into the. We got into the one of the worst. I like Xander. We got yeah. in. We got into the one of the oh, worst great. fights of our marriage, over because Xander. Xander Harris. Yeah. Why? Because I hate him and I think the character is non-existent. It doesn't do anything to the show. In fact, if anything, him his existence endangers the rest of the group. And Jen is trying to tell me, oh. No, the group wouldn't be the group that they are without him. He's the heart of the team. Did you ever even watch season six? No, he's... he's By the way, I, I'm not going to tell you how, but uh, if it wasn't for Xander, the world would have actually ended one time. <laughs> one time. He saves the okay. fucking world. And he has okay. no powers, he can't do nothing, but he saved the world. He doesn't have to have powers to be a good character. He's not a good character. He's a womanizing comedy character that's slapstick. And if you admit that he's a slapstick character, fine. I have no problem with that. But defending him and saying he's not a slapstick character, he's a detrimental part of the group and the group can't exist without him, is a lie. It is a bullshit lie. He is there for comic relief and nothing more. That's not true at all. That's not true. He has nothing to help the group. He's actually caused a lot of problems for the group. Continue watching the show. How about you watch the show? Because let me tell you I something. Love the show. You, no, no, love you it. love your goddamn little vampire bitch. And you know what? Just watching those episodes is not watching the series. Go back to season one. I dare you. Go back to I season haven't. one and watch it from the beginning. What, what are you talking about, my vampire bitch? I can't think of his name. Spike's the Spike. coolest character on the show. Spike. Spike you only watched the Spike, Spike episodes. No, I didn't. I've seen every single episode. I have all. I know you've seasons. seen every every episode. When's the last time you watched the original first season without him? I watched it. When? I, season three was good too, and he only made was only in one episode. When did you see season one? When was the last time you watched? I season watched one? the show probably not that long ago. Season one is outdated, yeah, but it's good. I it's, enjoy it. It's. Not I like good. the whole show as a whole. I I don't. I, I, it's, and by it's the way, misery Spike can beat Angel's it. ass, and he has. I want you to know that, Mr. I Love Angel. He's the better vampire. All right? He didn't get a soul bestowed upon him. Exactly! He fought for it. For but love. he hasn't even looked at that part. Oh, don't grab me. Don't grab me! Don't kill me. Thank you. If you were going to kill me. Oh, so they just... Just finish the show. I know you hate Sandra and Dawn. I, I hate Buffy. I hate them all. That's the problem. I hate everybody. The only people I like, yes, I like Giles as a character, but now he's starting to become slapstick comedy. He's He lost his purpose. So now he just runs a shop and is funny. And other than that, I like Willow. I do. But, like... She got so absorbed with the witch stuff that that's all they're using her for. Instead of going back to her, like, researching days and being, like, Buffy's close friend and everything. Now it's just kind of like, nah, who gives always, a fuck? She's always going to be a powerful witch. Yeah, and that's what I mean. Like, she's fell, fallen off the bandwagon as a good character. So, I just... 
Because Angel's been gone for a while. I don't care. That's fine. I have no problem with that. Because I know they made a little Angel show, which I need to watch. But I think the other thing I need to do, too, because I'm sure you've watched it. I need to watch the original Buffy movie. The very first oh, thing before the no. TV show. No, no you really it. don't. I mean, you can, but no. Because it, it, none of this makes see sense. If he likes it. No, he's not. I can I would like to see his reaction to just how yeah. awful that movie really is. Because if he actually likes that over Buffy, we would we know. Mm-hmm. Oh, the movie's got awful. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you that right now. Oh, I'm sure it's a terrible movie, but like. It at least builds up premise as to what Buffy is, how she got the powers, why she's important no, at all. Because right now she no. just seems like a little bitch who wants to Joss just sleep Whedon, with everybody. Like, made a deal, like he lost a lot of creative purposes, and it wasn't the movie that he wanted. But we're gonna save, and we're gonna go do some more trials or whatever. Wonderful. Oh my God. At least I'll get it done faster, and I'll be done. I'll be done. <sighs> I like everybody. There's not a character I don't like. I, I appreciate them all. I don't, I don't. I just don't get it. You know, I think the other problem is too, because this is something that, that Jen and I were talking about. You guys grew up on it. You were teenagers yeah. watching teenagers yeah, talk about teenagers. My stuff. mom when new episodes came. Out. Okay, I wasn't until my late twenties before I started watching <laughs> fucking <laughs> Buffy. And all that I can keep thinking of, these are just a bunch of loser teenagers who all think, they think about is sex. That's all they think about is sex. Honestly, it's Xander and Buffy still, and all of them. It's probably still, like, obviously Game of Thrones is my favorite TV show still okay. on TV. But right. Buffy actually might be my favorite TV show Ugh. of all time. Oh, and I hate all it. All time. I can't stomach it. It's so hard to get through. It's a, it's a nightmare. Season five is epic, too. And you, you don't like yeah. it. You're really gonna hate season six then, because it's like I'm sure I will. You know what I mean? How can Everyone's you like, like? Where are they going with this? How can now? you like a sexy demon woman as oh your main God, character? Yeah. It's terrible. Yeah. And then this is my sister, but not my sister. But I'm gonna protect her anyway it and treat her like sense. a sister. It does not it make sense. sense. Not only does it not make yeah. sense, is I don't know why you give a shit about this person who isn't your sister, who's just an annoying twat who runs around everywhere yelling at everybody and saying, thinking she's hot shit. Fuck you. Fuck Buffy. I have a theory. It could be bodies. I don't know what huh? the you know about. that Anya's the blind witch on fucking Once Upon a Time? No, I didn't catch from, from that. From fucking, yeah. you know what I mean? I know, the flashback. That's her. Okay. Isn't that cool? I, no, that's not. I don't give a shit. I don't know why I would give a shit. Guys, next time. We'll see you next time.